Hello everyone, Cindy here with Monarch Mom DIY. On my channel, I bring you the best tips and tools for creating beautiful home decor on a budget. Today I have three modern farmhouse home decor using Dollar Tree and other budget-friendly items. These are easy for anyone to make. Here we go. For the first project, I'm using four of these long, tall frames, two of these four by six frames, some tumbling tower blocks, and a wall sticker of your choice. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the backing and the glass from all four of my long signs and also from my two four by six signs frames, sorry. So the tall side of the four by six is the same length as the short side of the long frames. I hope that makes sense. You'll see here in just a minute. But these are gray and black and they definitely have that shiny plastic look. So I'm taking my white chalk paint and a chip brush and I'm just brushing over gently, not completely covering the black or gray color underneath just to give this a nice rustic farmhouse look. This is so simple, no right or wrong. Just brush it on lightly until you like the coverage. Do that to all six of the frames, the four long ones and the two smaller ones. Here you can see how it really brings out the detailing in the frames. The next thing you're going to do is very carefully put those metal prongs back kind of flat and gently with pliers, kind of wiggle them back and forth and pull those out. You wanna be very careful to try to not crack the frame. and do that for all of your frames. Next, I am decided to use a wood grain piece of scrapbook paper. I am cutting this to fit inside one of the long frames. I'm actually going to use two of these frames for the base of my box. So here I've put the glass back down and what I'm gonna have to do with all six of my frames is glue now the glass into place. I'm using a combination of this super glue gel from Dollar Tree. I'm kind of making dots and then in between the dots, I'm going to do some hot glue in the crack there as much as I can. Then gently place your glass in and press it down into the glue and let all of those dry. Now I am taking that piece of scrapbook paper that I cut and I'm going to put it between two of the frames. But first I'm just putting some hot glue in the corners just to hold it in place. And you can see that the glass of the uh, frame that I'm gluing it to is face down. So that is going to be the base of our box. This is going to go in the middle. And now I'm going to glue these two frames together. This is just going to give the base of our box that we're making more stability. I'm just trying to find the other long mirror frame that best matches up size and shape because we know the things from Dollar Tree, they're not always perfectly the same size and shape. Here again, I'm using the combination of the super glue gel and some hot glue between those. I have found that if you accidentally get hot glue on that super glue gel, it smells really, really bad. So I suggest keeping those two glues separate. And then pressing this other frame with the glass on top and basically you've sandwiched that scrapbook paper in there as a base for the box. 
Now using, so that's two of the long frames. Now this is a third one. I'm going to center my wall sticker. I've had this one for a while that says Amazing Grace and I've really been wanting to use it. So I was so happy to use it for this project. I'm just centering them on the glass here. And so this frame is going to be the front of the box that I'm putting together. Now, I did find that those four by six frames were not quite going to be wide enough for the sides or the ends of my box. So I am taking four sets of four tumbling tower blocks. You can see I'm gluing them end to end and you'll see here in a minute um, what I'm going to need those for for putting this box together. But just trust me, make four sticks here of four tumbling tower blocks. Once those are dry, we're going to go ahead and give them a base coat of black chalk paint so that everything is uniform, just like our frames were black or dark gray. So just paint all of the sides with the black chalk paint on these tumbling tower block sticks. And then we are going to also do the white paint, just the brushing, the dry brushing that on so that they match the frames to build our box with. So you can see here, I needed four of the blocks on the top of the four by six frame and I'm gluing those into place. Four of them is exactly the right length. And then we're gonna do that on the bottom as well with the super glue gel and the hot glue combination. So now our smaller frames are going to be the right size to be the ends of our boxes. All right, so now we're going to put this box together. We're again doing the combination of the two glues. This is the base of our box. And on that bottom frame there, I put the glue and then I'm doing, this is the other backside frame and we're just gluing that and holding it in place. This is the one that does not have the wall sticker. Now I have one of the end pieces, the smaller frames that we added the tumbling tower blocks to the top and bottom, and now it is going to fit perfectly. We're going to actually glue the two ends on top of the frame. There, I think you can see a little bit better. I'm just kind of holding it to make sure it's all going to line up. So now on my smaller frame piece, I'm just running a bead of hot glue along the bottom and that right hand side that's going to meet up with the long frame and just making sure that those are as straight as possible. And now we're going to do the other end, same thing, put some hot glue along the side that will touch the standing frame and along the bottom and getting that piece all lined up. And then the last step will be to put the front piece onto our box, the part that has the wall sticker on it. And we're just going to then glue that to the two side pieces and along the bottom there on our base. And that is the final piece to put our box together. My idea for this was kind of a candle centerpiece. Um, I decided to add some of these rocks, even though you had the scrapbook paper in there. You could use fairy lights for this. I'm gonna show you that here in a second. And also another alternative using some battery powered candles. This would look really pretty with some candles and some greenery. Really, the possibilities are endless of this for the wall sticker saying, for the color that you paint the frames to build this box. I just think this looks really high end and is going to be a great addition to your home decor. 
And here's my example with three candles inside. I actually really love this. These candles, I believe I got at Michael's and they have a timer so you can turn them on and they shut off after six hours. So that is our first project for today. I hope you liked it. For our second project, I'm using two different sizes of these glass cylinder vases from Dollar Tree, more tumbling tower blocks, some Gorilla Wood glue, and some sort of light source to go inside. Now I did try the super glue wood glue from Dollar Tree for this project and I was really pleased with how it worked out. Now um, I am using five tumbling tower blocks on their side and I'm trying to space them as evenly as possible around the base of this vase you can see here so I'm making them kind of in a pentagon shape and then what we're going to do is very simply you're just going to put a dot of glue and a dot of glue and you're going to put another one going across I made something similar to this um, uh, last year I'm going to go ahead and link that video in the cards here you can see I made a pedestal using these tumbling tower blocks and doing them in a circle like this. So basically you're gonna keep going around doing the layers of five tumbling tower blocks, spacing them in the center. Here you can see this is after two, time, two layers and then a third layer. You just keep lining them up and putting them, connecting the two on either side, four layers, and we just keep building it up. And here we're going to do the last layer of this vase. Sometimes the last layer of tumbling tower blocks will be just a little bit below the top of the glass. Sometimes like this one, it'll be just a little bit above, but if you don't do them too tightly, you should be able to um, slide the glass vase out. Mine I did a little too tight but that's okay because I can reach my hand in there and I just think this is really cool. You could paint the blocks if you wanted, stain them, um, but I just decided this time to keep them the natural wood color. One other tip is to let each layer dry at least for a few minutes so that it holds before you do the layer on top. Otherwise, they're all going to be moving around and you don't want that. You want it to be as straight as possible. So here you can see I made the two different sizes to go together and you could put a candle in these. I actually have one of those circle battery powered push lights in the bottom of each one, but I love these for modern farmhouse decor. Our last project, I'm using a 12, but you can use any number of these small wooden crates from Dollar Tree or Michaels, some succulents, um, any other small decorative items. So what I'm doing, instead of using the antique wax, I took some brown acrylic paint and watered it down quite a bit, and I'm using this as a stain for my crates. This I did not um, have to wipe down too much, maybe a little bit if I had some drips, but I just went ahead and watery painted every side and nook and cranny of each of these little wooden crates. If you're here at my channel for the first time, welcome. I hope you'll consider sticking around by hitting that subscribe button. I hope everyone will give this video a big thumbs up. And at the end of the video, leave me a comment as to which of these projects was your favorite. Now, once all of our crates are dry, you can see they look like they've been stained. And I would encourage you before you start gluing these together, arrange them like this. See which ones fit best together. I am starting out by making four of the, or two of these squares, each square using four crates. You can see they're both squares, but 
they look a little bit different just rotated a little bit differently and I am using my Gorilla wood glue and then my clamps to hold them together securely and as straight as possible until they are completely dry. So here's both of our squares glued together and dried. Now with my other four crates, I'm kind of deciding where I want to place them for this wood shelf. What's really fun about this is you can use as few or as many of these crates as possible just to make a fun little farmhouse shelf. Here you can see I glued um, three more crates on and now I'm gluing the other square on and that bottom crate and this is just a really fun piece that you can add to any space on the wall and change out whatever flowers or decor you could change it out seasonally goes onto these shelves Again, thanks so much you guys for joining me today for these three modern farmhouse decor DIYs. I hope you enjoyed them. Please again, give this video a thumbs up and let me know which one was your favorite. Also, if you wanna know what my favorite crafting tools and supplies are, check out the link in the description box to my Amazon storefront. See you later.